somebody said that my videos were boring, so I decided to do a little song and dance for you tonight, just to make it more interesting, but here's a little song and dance that most of the evolutionists aren't going to like, <clears throat> because it disproves another one of their sideways thinking things. I'm just going by their, some of their nonsense, okay? They, they go along and they dig up a bunch of bones and dig up a bunch of bones and they, eventually they find one skeleton or something that's like a deformed human or something buried in the ground and they find the bones and the bones are like, you know, you know, 50,000 years old or 3 million years old or whatever it is, you know. Typically they dig up something that's between 3 and 50 million years old. Okay? Did you ever notice that they have these magical numbers that they that extend its time to the point where it's ridiculous? Because in order for evolution to take place, you have to have billions of years for it to happen. But the, problem, the premise is that they know how to tell time and then they're going to create the time the way they want it. So, there's no proof of time, by the way. We'll cover that some other time. But, so they dig up a perfectly good skeleton, and, and they, they take them out of the box, and they put them in their hand, and they hold it. And they look at it, and they say, this is homo habilis, or this is homo whatever it is, whatever the homo they got that day. And uh, go on, and, and here's some of the sideways logic, okay? They can take a bone from 50 million years ago from some fossil record, okay, and find it 50 million years ago or more, okay, whatever their, whatever their thought process is. Yet, <clears throat> where's the human bones? from 100,000 years ago. Where are they? If humans have been around since like before time or whatever it is, or 20 million years ago, 50, whatever their numbers are, okay? They can't find any bones from 100,000 years ago. They can't find any bones from 10,000 years ago. As far as I know. No humans. But they say it takes millions of years for the human to evolve. So, okay, 100,000 years is way under millions. So is 10,000 years. It's way under millions of years. So, but 100,000 years ago, human beings should have been here. But they have no bones. I mean, this is sideways logic. They keep forgetting to tell you that leaving out the parts of this evidence that is obvious. And the obvious thing is that humans have been on the earth for, you know, for however many millions of years, there's ape men and all that stuff, and here's the ape, you know, the great ape, or whatever the hell they call it. They keep changing this. You know, it's the, uh, now, now they call it the, um, the great primate, because they don't want to use the word ape because Ape sounds too negative to a lot of people that don't want to be, be considered to be apes, so they call it the great primate. So this great primate came along, and somehow or other his genes exploded, and, and there, there happened to be two of them there that day, these great primates, with both their genes exploding at the same time, that had sex and out popped a human. <clears throat> That's their theory, okay? So, here's the problem. There's no evidence of any bones on the ground showing any evolution of man whatsoever from any other creature. It doesn't exist. You know, if in 100,000 years, whatever they think this, the humans have been here, you would see, you know, literally thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of bones, of samples of this path of evolution. Okay? And when you ask them why they don't have the samples, they go, well, 
In my expert opinion, I believe with all my heart and soul, but I have no damn evidence to back it up with, that the evidence was must have been destroyed somewhere along the way. Okay? Sideways logic. How come they can't find 100,000 year old bones, but they can find them from 50 million years ago? Bones is bones is bones is bones. But structured bones don't change. You know? Them bones, them bones, them guy bones, them bones, them bones, them wet bones. <laughs> oh man. They said my videos were boring, so I thought I'd spice it up, you know? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. It's just so humorous that people would actually believe this crap, you know? All the sideways logic on Earth, but what they do is they try to make everything conform into some form that every logical conclusion proves evolution. But every logical conclusion actually disproves it or shows it's not proven. You know, as we went on before, you can't disprove things. You can only show that they're not proven. You know, that's why there's a fallacy in the whole system of, of, uh, of things. But that's enough for a night.